Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Hello, Good hello. Evening. Good evening. How are you guys? How are you tonight? Everybody I'm right? Fine. Yeah, very fine. That's good. Welcome, Nidia, Luis Alberto, Francisco Samuel. We have Tatiana, Iris Milena. Who else we have? Karen Guadalupe, Carlos Mario. Welcome, guys. Welcome to one more session. How was the weekend? It was a good weekend. Good Friday, good Saturday, good Sunday. It was nice. No new things? No new things on the weekend? No? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? How was your weekend? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Se escucha, me escuchan. Yes. Yes, you can hear? So how are you? Yes. How was how was the weekend? I'm fine. Yes, you were very fine? Yes. Working, yes. maybe studying. With I visited at my friends. You visited your friends. Where? Yes. Where is San Salvador, Santa Ana? In Lourdes. Ah, in Lourdes. Ah, okay. Very nice. And where do you live? I live in Isalco. In Isalco. Ah, okay. So it's like a short distance, right? From Isalco yes. to Lourdes. That's very good. All right. Now, let's check here. Remember that on last Thursday or the last class, we started with vocabulary about some medications. So let's continue about it. But now we're going to watch the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take... Give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, as we observed on the video, that was the previous vocabulary, just to remember some common vocabulary. But also we have others. Also, let's refresh that. We also investigated about the medications that you have at home. What are the medications you have at home? Remember, we mentioned some in the previous class, right? Do you have antacid? Lydia, do you have antacid at home? Yes. Yes? Okay. What else do you have at home? Any other medications? Mm, I have um, aspirin. Aspirins. All right. That's good. Thank you. Let's see. It is. Do you have muscle cream at home? Yes. Yes, you have it. What is the name yes. of that muscle cream? Uh, Acetaminophen. Ah, acetaminophen. Okay, nice one. Great. Luis Alberto, what about you? What medication do you have at home? Luis Alberto? Ok. 
cannot listen, you have problems with the audio. Francisco, what about you? I have cough drops. Ah, okay, cough drops, all right. Very good, thank you. What about you, Karen? Karen Guadalupe. And um, vitamins. You have vitamins? Okay, that's good. So as you can check here, we have other medications. All in generally, they are medicine, right? For example, aspirin, that's very common, cold tablets, vitamins, cough syrup or cough drops. We also have eye drops, ointment. It's like a cream, right? That you can put it nasal spray like when it's impossible for us to breathe very well so we can use those nasal spray and tacit tablets that they are also very common throat syringe we also have this one heating pad lotion cream we have the ice pack when is that we use the ice pack Sería como las que llamamos nosotros compresas. Ajá, that's correct, exactly. And you put it here, right? Maybe here on the neck or on the head when you have a headache. So that is very good to reduce the headache. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, this one will be the common one, the pill, a tablet that they have the difference, a capsule. What type of capsules do you know? Which ones can we mention? For example, amoxicillin? Uh -huh. They come in capsules, right? What about in tablets? Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen, uh -huh. that's good. What else? Aspirin. Aspirin, that is true. What about the caplets? Tylenol, for example, is a caplet. Those are kind. Also, ibuprofen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Aha, ibuprofen and countering caplet. Well, then we also have the teaspoons, right? That is a specific quantity of certain liquids that you drink it. So let's check here another one. So let's check here with this vocabulary, and we're going to check. It says, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take. Karen? Karen Guadalupe? Whenever I have a cold, I take. Um, I take. Um, muscle cream? Ah, muscle, muscle cream. Muscle cream? Muscle cream. It will be this one. Let me show you. This one, right? Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle, muscle. Muscle. Very good job. Okay. okay. Muscle cream. Very good. Nice. Okay. Let's check another one. Let's see. Wendy. Wendy Lisette. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Give us another example, please, to complete the idea. Whenever I have a cold, I take. I Whenever I have a cold, I take ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Excellent. Very good job. Nice. Chrysia. Now give us another example with a different illness. Okay. Whenever whenever I have a cold, I take um, aspirin. Aspirin. All right. Thank you. Let's continue then with it is. Give us a, with a different illness. Like whenever I have a stomachache, whenever I have a backache. Different. Whenever I have a, a call, I take aspirin. I take aspirin. All right. Whenever you have a call, Francisco, what about you? Thank you. Teacher, le iba a preguntar, whenever yes. significa siempre que tengo, o cómo exactly. sería la traducción. Uh -huh. That is correct. Siempre que. Siempre que. Uh -huh. Ajá. Todo lo que se lleva, I have, es siempre que tengo. Whenever I have. So, but whenever indica cada vez que o siempre que yo realizo una actividad. Siempre que sucede algo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bueno, sería whenever I backache. 
Whenever I have a bucket, I take a dolphin. Mm, okay, I take a dolphin. Nice. So whenever I have a bucket, I take dolphin. That's nice. Good one. Continue then, Jennifer Elizabeth. Uh, whenever I have a cold, I take vitamins D. Ah, vitamin D. And also vitamin C also, right? They function a lot. All right, good one. Thank you, Jennifer. Good. Mercedes, what about you? You're welcome. Thank you. Give us with the different symptoms, different illness. Whenever I have a stomachache, whenever I have a... Uh, it can be a backache. Whenever I have a stomachache, I take um, antacid tablets. Antacid. Antacid tablets. Antacid tablets. Very good mm -hmm. job. Nice one. That's good. Doris, what about you? A different example. Whenever I have uh, allergy. Ah, excellent. Whenever I have an allergy. I take uh, antihistamine. Antihistaminic. No Antihistaminic. Uh -huh, that's good. That could be like loratadina, right? Also, it helps a lot. All right. Thank you, Doris. Very really good. <laughs> nice. Great. Camila? Whenever I have, I'm sorry. Se lo escucha despacito. Whenever I have a fever, I take. Paracetamol, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Ah, paracetamol. Just the pronunciation is different, but it's very similar. Paracetamol. Uh -huh. Ajá. Very good job. Nice one. That's great. Karen Guadalupe. Karen, Karen Guadalupe. Tatiana María. No present. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, Tatiana, give us another example, please. And whenever I have, um, no sé cómo se dice esta palabra, hell, hell danger. Hell? Esta, esta is misma that... que usted tiene acá en el, en el, en el ejemplo. Is this one? Ah, oh, you mean headache. This one? With me, a perdón. Headache? A headache? This one? A headache. Uh-huh, okay. Whenever I have a headache? Eh, sería, whenever I have a cold, I take... Ah, a cold. A, I take? Eh, a strong aspirin. Ah, okay. That's good. Yes, a strong aspirin. That's nice. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, so this is like a, when something happens, is that you take, or when you feel those symptoms... You take a specific medication, right? Do you have questions? No question. No. No questions? No? All right. No. Let's go ahead then with the other topic, with the imperatives. And let's see that by the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you will also practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life setting. So let's check, what are imperatives? The imperatives is used to give commands and orders. So you give an order to a person or you give an instruction also. Examples will be like this, open the door. You give an order, clean your shoes, sit down. They are orders, they are instructions. Or is used to make suggestions or recommendations using let's plus main verb. Just that this one you give recommendation, right? It's not an order. For example, let's run, let's go to the beach, let's take a picture. So in this case, I open the door, abre la puerta, it's a command. Es una orden, es una indicación, right? In the other case, it's like you invite a person. Let's run, let's study, let's go to the beach, let's take a picture, let's read, let's write. So that will be 
when you invite a person, ese, ese, ese let's es cuando invitamos a alguien a realizar una actividad. Por ejemplo, let's run, corramos, let's go to the beach, vamos a la playa, let's take a picture, tomemos una foto, right? But these ones are like recommendations. But the first ones, it will be like orders. But let's check here the video that we have uh, with the conversation that we are going to practice. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement to har. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup. Don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. As it was saying, right, it's about the imperatives. And we say that um, imperatives, they used to give instruction. And we know that when you go to the doctor, is that we need to receive instructions. If you don't want to be sick anymore, we want to eliminate the illness, then it's necessary to follow the doctor's instructions. For example, here we have take a pill every four hours, rest in bed. We know that rest is very necessary. For example, with the flu, we are taking acetaminophen, we are taking a lot of pills, but if we don't rest, wow, that's very complicated to recover. Drink lots of juice, especially lemon juice, right, baby, or orange juice. 
Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Now we're going to repeat this once. Let's see, Alma, we're going to repeat this. Can you please take a pill every four hours? Repeat. Uh -huh, please, take a pill every four hours. Take a pill, a pill? every, a pill every, uh -huh. every, 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 every four hours. Hours, hours. Hours. That's right. Good one. Thank you. Let's see. Let's continue with William Vladimir. Are you present? Yes. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello, hello. We Rats can read the bed. next one. Rest in bed. Thank you. That's right. Good. Luis Antonio. Luis Antonio. Uh, drink. Drink. Drink lots of juice. Of juice. Of juice. Of juice. Juice. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Carlos Mario. Now the negative parts. We have negative instructions. Like, don't do that. Don't. Don't work too hard. Too hard. Very good. Thank you, Bryant. Hi, Bryant. Are you here? Yes. Hi, Miss. Hello, Bryant. Okay, let's check the next one, please. Don't Go. stay up late. Don't stay up late. Late. That's right. Don't stay up late. Repeat it, please. Don't stay up late. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. That's right. Yeah, Eva. Eva, Alicia. Hello. Hello. Repeat the last one, please. Uh, don't. Don't. Uh -huh. don't. Don't drink soda. Don't drink soda. Oh, don't drink soda. That's all right. Thank you. That's good. Let's continue then. Tatiana. Now we're going to check here, right? If you give this one like this. If you notice, we have the structure. If it's in negative, you say don't plus the verb and a complement. Don't work too hard. When you say too, and then an adjective, it means an excessive quantity of this characteristic, like demasiado duro. No trabajas demasiado duro. Don't work too hard. And let's give more examples. In the case that you have a cold, if you have a cold, take cough syrup. This is affirmative instruction, but also we have negative. Don't drink cold drinks. So let's repeat it. Tatiana, are you there? Yes, teacher. Hi, Tati. Okay. Can you repeat this one, please? Este, esta donde dice tea. Hey, exactly. Tea cough syrup. Tea cough. 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 Syrup. Syrup. Don't drink. Don't, don't drink or drinks. Drinks. Very good. That's nice. Cool. Mauricio, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Hello, tell me. Uh, are you donde dice take off syrup? Syrup. Que quiere syrup. What is that? Let, let me show you what is a syrup. This is cough syrup. It's like, for example, in the case of cough, when you have this illness, <laughs> that is cough. Cough. Tos. Exactly. And syrup is the liquid that you drink. For example, broncoelix, ambroxol. That is mm -hmm. a syrup. Es un antitusivo. Um, uh -huh, that's correct. So es un, un jarabe para la tos. Porque syrup mm -hmm. en general es jarabe. Pueden haber, incluso les mencionaba la vez anterior, que hay, también hay jarabes así como de chocolate o de jaleas. <laughs> like Hershey. Hershey syrup. But yes, this is a specific. Thanks. You're very welcome. This is a specific because it's syrup, but for the cough. Específicamente para la tos. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we have that case there. Now we are going to here have other situations. Let's include these ones. 
like here. It says, I have a stomach ache. And now there's another person that gives the instruction, take a pill, or it can be other options. Go to the bathroom, right? Imagine that there is an emergency, so you need to go to the bathroom. Don't eat junk food, okay? These ones are like a good recommendations that you can give for a person that have a stomachache. What other instructions would you give? What other imperative form would you give if a person have a stomachache? Uh, Wendy? For example, uh -huh. uh, don't eat spicy food. Or uh -huh. Excellent. That is correct. Don't eat spicy food. Imagine you have a stomachache and you eat that. Ooh, very complicated. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Estella, what about you? What instruction can you give? to a person who has a stomach ache. Estela, are you present? No? Rosa Irma? Rosa Irma? Perdón, perdón, Miss, eh, ¿cuál era la pregunta? It's like here, you can give an instruction for a person that has a stomach ache. Imagine that I tell you, I have a stomach ache. What can you recommend me? What instruction can you give me? Uh, una uh, intestinomicina. Okay, so that will be take, take, intestinomicina. I take uh -huh. Take, uh, because it's an instruction. Take, take uh, intestinomicina. Uh, very good. That's nice. There is one that is more effective, right? There is one that is very, very effective. That is Alcade. Have you heard about it? Alcade. <laughs> so that's very effective. Very good. Nice. Now, I have another situation here. It says, I have, I have the flu. What can you recommend? Christian? What instruction can you give to a person that has the flu? I have the flu. For example, here it says, Drink chamomile with eucalyptus. What's chamomile? This one is chamomile. Take uh, uh -huh. uh, manzanilla. Manzanilla. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's right. Good. Yes, that is true. You can take other medicines, right? That's take right. Uh, beetle grip. Take beetle grip. Okay. What else? Put you on an injection. A mask. <laughs> use ah, a mask. Wear a mask. Uh, yeah, that's very good. Wear a mask. I take the de gengibre, teacher. Ah, really? You drink that one? It's very good. Ginger tea. It's very Ginger good. Ginger tea. That's true. Especially if you have the a cough, right? It's very good. It helps a lot with that. Now, in this one, that is very good, right? Wear a face mask also. That is very important in these days. Wear a face mask. Any other recommendations that you can give? Pamela? No? Carlos Mario? Carlos Mario? Para el mismo de the flu. For the flu, yes. Uh, eh, té de manzanilla, no sé cómo. Camomile, camomil meal. You can also, eh, camomile, like this one. Camomile tea. Drink. Camomile tea. Uh -huh. Camomile tea. Yeah, that's good. In that case, you uh, drink it, right? Because it's liquid. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. ¿Qué significa junk food? Junk food. Junk food is all that type of food that is not good for your body. For example, hamburger, pizza, sandwich. All that food is not good for the body. Yes? And the healthy food is the good food for the body. For example, vegetables, fruits. It can be soup. Especially if it's 
chicken soup. That is good, healthy. Junk food, no good for the body. So what is junk food? Comida chatarra. Exactly, that it is. Coach. Tell me. The other recommendation. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, tea for lemon with, how do you say miel? Mi, miel honey. In English. Honey. 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 Yes. Okay, lemon with honey. Yes, definitely. Like this, lemon with honey. Lemon with honey. Yeah, that one is also very effective. You put it right in a spoon and then you take it. It's really good, especially also if you have a, including the cough. That's great. Okay, let's continue then. We have others here. All right, so others to practice here. With the same here recommendation, you're going to give more instructions. Others that you can give. It says write two pieces of advice for each problem. Remember that advice is recommendation. Use the sentences from part A or your own ideas. So you can use this part if you want or give other recommendations. For example, here it says, I have a toothache. What advice can you give? Call a dentist. Any other one that you can give? Any other advice? Mercedes? What advice can you give though? I have a headache. A toothache, sorry. A toothache. A toothache. Um, take a pill of um, ibuprofen. Ah, take ibuprofen? Okay. Uh -huh. Take ibuprofen. Uh -huh. Take ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. Ibuprofen. Uh, yes. Very good. Nice one. Okay. What about I have a headache? Nidia. Take a aspirin. All right. That's good. Take an aspirin. Great, right, that's one. Yes, Karen Guadalupe. I have the flu. Eh, podría ser take an acetaminophen. All right, that's good. Take acetaminophen. Nice one. Yes, that's um, a good advice. Correct. Nice one. Let's continue then with Doris. I can't sleep at night. You, you have a rest. Ah, take a rest. Rest in bed. A rest in bed, that's correct. Rest in bed. Or take a rest also, it can be rest in bed. Yeah, that's all right, good one. Okay, now we're going to repeat this one. Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto, the microphone, please. Me escucha, teacher. Yes, now yes. But now it's not active. El micrófono lo tiene desactivado. Okay, ahora sí. Yes. Alif. Okay. Ajá, let's repeat this one, please. I have a toothache. I have a toothache, Alif. I have a toothache. A lip. A lip? What do you mean with a, a lip? Oh, you mean the pill. Okay, so I have a toothache. Then you can say, take a lip. A lip, eh? Yes, you can take a lip. That is the pill, the name of the, the pill, right? All right, very good. Francisco. Sí. Now, let's repeat this one, please. Um, I have a headache. Take aspirin. All right, that's good. Take an aspirin. Very good. It is. I have the flu. I take vitamin. Take 
Okay, take viral week. Okay, take viral grip. Good, that will be the, the instruction, right? Good. Camila, I can't sleep at night. Rest. Rest in bed. Rest in bed. That's correct. Good one, guys. Okay, now we have the conversation which we're going to practice. So let's begin. This one is, it means don't work too hard. That will be the name of it. And we have also like a two characters conversation between Dr. Young and Miss West. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Young. Yes. Okay. So now tell me, do you have new vocabulary here? No. Do you have new vocabulary? Questions? Anything else? Algo más? That's anything else. Algo más? So this is the patient, right? Miss West is the patient. Any other question? No? Okay, wrong. let's begin. I'm sorry? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong is like, a, what's the problem? What happens to you? ¿Cuál es el problema? That's what's wrong. Okay, let's begin the, the practice then. I'll start then. Let's begin with Luis Alberto. You are Dr. Young. Begin. Hello. Luis Alberto, the microphone, please. Me escucha. Yes, we can listen to you. Hello, me dijo. Hello, Miss West. Miss West, how how are how are you today? Today. Today. Today, today. Very good. Thank you. It is. Continue. Not so good. Thank you. That is. Continue. So, what's wrong exactly? Very good. Thanks, Camila. Um, Camila? I'm excited. I'm exhausted, exhausted. Exhausted. Very so, good, right, thank you. Mauricio Enrique? Stop present. Alma Patricia? Let's repeat this one, please. Hmm, why are you so tired? Mm, why, are why are you so tired? Okay. <laughs> Very good. Why are you so That's tired? Good. Tired. <clears throat> yes. Tired. Good. Okay. Alma, so continue. Tired. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. I just can't sleep at night. At night. At night. All right. At good night. one. Very good job. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at you. At you. Very good. A few minutes later. Nidia Jamilex. I'm going. I'm going to hide to give you, you some to give you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill 
every night after dinner. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Karen Guadalupe, continue. And don't. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Very good. Thank you. Mercedes. Anything else? That's right. Thank you. Christia, continue. Don't work too hard. Uh -huh. Yes, don't work too hard. That's great. Thank you. Let's see. Let's continue. William Vladimir? All right. Thanks, Dr. John. That's right. Good one. Any question? Do you have questions with some vocabulary, phrases, new phrases that you have? <clears throat> Not? All right, guys. We're going to have some minutes to pass the list. So let me know if you are present, please. Okay, and we begin with Adriana. Adriana, Gabriela. Adriana, Gabriela. Alma, Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Alma. Ana Lisette. Ana Lisette. Brenda Esmeralda. Brenda Esmeralda. Brian Alexander. Present, Miss. Thank you, Brian. Camila Lisette. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Mario. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Doris Emilia. Present. Thank you so much. Elvis Leonel. Elvis Leonel. Estela Marisol. Present. Thank you, Stella. Francisco Samuel. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Iris Milena. Present. Thank you so much. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present coach. Thank you so much. Jose David. Jose David. <laughs> Jennifer Elizabeth. Uh, present coach. Oh, you said it. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Karen Guadalupe. Present. Thank you so much. Crisia Dorila. Present. Thank you, Crisia. Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto. Luis Antonio. Luis Antonio. Mauricio Enrique. Sí, señor, me escuchó. No, right now, yes. Ahorita sí. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Luis Antonio. Mauricio Enrique, you said present, right? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Mercedes sí, Elizabeth, sir. yes. Luis Alberto, present. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Luis. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Then we have Mercedes Elizabeth. Mercedes Elizabeth. Nidia Yamilex. Present teacher. Thank you, Nidia. Rosa Irma. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosa. Sarina Susana. Sarina. Sarina remember, right? Fue WhatsApp. Uh -huh, yes. Una It's true. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tatiana María. Present teacher. Thank you, Tatiana. Wendy Lisette. Present Wendy. teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Wilber Enrique. Wilber Enrique. William Vladimir. Present. Thank you, William. Yesenia Maribel. Yesenia Maribel. And Yesenia Pamela. Yesenia Pamela. All right, guys. 
Thank you so much. We are going to continue. Teacher, me. Pamela, right? Eva, Alicia. Okay, <laughs> let me verify. Let's see. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. you are here. Thank you. Okay, let's go on then with this part. Okay, we got on the conversation here. So we can also give, right, like a more advice here. In this one, we are going to complete this form as we can check. It says complete the sentences. Use the correct forms of the words in the box. So we have call, listen, see, take, not go. So that can be a negative instruction. Not worry, not drink, not eat. But you need to use, remember, you need to use the auxiliary, right? In the case that is negative, then you say don't. For example, here, the complement is a dentist. What can you do? Call and a dentist. If it's too much, remember here is excessive quantity of something. Don't worry too much. No te preocupes demasiado. So don't worry too much. What will be in the other case? Of too aspiring. Take. Take. Huh, that's right. Take. That's great. What about to school? Not, not go. But you need to use the auxiliary. It's not go the complete, but you need to use with the auxiliary if it's negative, right? So it will be don't. Uh -huh. Don't go to school. Don't go to school. What about number five? To relaxing music. Listen. Excellent. Listen. Very good. Listen. So that will be listen to relaxing music. Mercedes, do you have a question? No, sorry, Miss. Uh, me sacó el Zoom de la aplicación ah. justo cuando usted estaba pasando lista y, y cuando regresé <laughs> okay. me costó un montón entrar. To enter. Okay, no problem. I'm going to include it. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mercedes, for informing me. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay. So number five will be listen to relaxing music. That would be another recommendation or good advice. What about six? A doctor. What can you do there see with a doctor? See. See a doctor. Ah, very good. See a doctor. That's correct. See a doctor. Great. What about number seven? Coffee. Don't drink. That's right. Yes. Don't, don't drink coffee. Drink coffee. Oh, yeah. Don't drink Great. coffee. Don't drink coffee. And number eight, which will it be? Don't, don't eat. Candy, candy. Don't eat. Don't eat any candy, correct. Yeah, because we know that when we are sick, eat candy is not a good idea to do that. Now, let's verify here. We have a call a dentist. Call a dentist, don't worry too much, take too aspirin, don't go to school, listen to relaxing music, see a doctor, don't drink coffee, don't eat any candy. Any question with this? All right, let's read it then. We're going to start with Jennifer. Jennifer. Read number one, please. Call. Uh, call a dentist. Call a dentist. Very good. Doris Emilia, number two. Don't worry too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Very good. Alma Patricia, number three. 
take take to aspirin 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 nice aspirin. very good thanks Camila number four don't go to school don't go to school very good Luis Alberto number five The microphone, please. Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto, the microphone. Entonces, ¿me escucha? Me escucha, me escucha. Ok, ahora sí. Listen, listen. To, relax, listen to relaxing music. That's right, thank you. Nidia, number six. Sí, a doctor. See a doctor. Perfect. That's nice. Chrysia, seven. Don't drink coffee. Very good. Mauricio Enrique, number eight. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Very good. That's nice. Okay, now let's go to the contrary. Because here you say, okay, call a dentist. In what case can you call a dentist? For what illness? <laughs> For what illness? For what health problem? Francisco? For toothache. For a, a toothache, right? That's toothache. correct. Very good. For a toothache. Nice one. Let's see. What about don't worry too much? What happens when we worry too much? We have a stress, right? So when you have a lot of stress, in some cases it's because we worry too much. So that's like, um, like it's not a good idea to worry too much because that causes other illnesses or health problems. What about take to aspirin? For what? For a, for a headache. For a headache. Excellent. Is there any other health program that you can take aspirin? <coughs> for a flu. For the flu? Okay. Is it for fever? Yes. Yeah, right. It can work. It can function. Yeah, that is true. Nice. Camila, what about don't go to school? In what cases? You decide not to go to school. Then you say, don't go to school. In what cases? For a stomachache, headache, toothache. I have a fever. Ah, okay, have a fever. So don't go to school. Very good, nice. It is. In what cases is that you listen to relaxing music? Uh, for the stress. For the stress, right? Yeah, that is true. You say, no, oh, I don't want the stress. I listen to relaxing music. What kind of music is good to relax? Mm, classical classical uh -huh. music. Okay, classical music of music you said right okay so if that is the type of music that you like okay that's good what about you doris what kind of music do you listen to uh, to relax instrumental mm. music ah, okay mm. do you have like a favorite one that you like uh, violin ah, from the violin yeah it's true it's mm. relaxing actually from the violin they play it in different modes, right? For example, when you go to Simán or Epa, they put on the background, you can listen to instrumental music and people can relax at that time. Yeah. Okay, nice. What about number six? In what cases do you see a doctor? Carlos Mario. Uh, when I have a Backache. Ah, when you have a backache. Okay. Do you usually have a backache? ¿Cómo? Do you usually have a backache? Is that constant? 
the backache? No. No? No. Okay, that's sometimes. Sometimes you have a backache. So sometimes it's like the doctor can recommend you like different kind of things, right? All it depends. What about you, Karen Guadalupe? When do you see a doctor? In which occasions? Um, sorry, teacher. Andaba en el baño. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're asking here the questions like in which occasions do you see a doctor? Okay. When you have a headache, a stomachache, a toothache. When you have a stress. Eh, la indicación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, but in what cases? I have a head when I have a headache, I go to the doctor or or in which occasion? When when I have toad teeth, is verdad? A toothache? Color de diente. Uh -huh. Toothpaste. Toothache. 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 Uh-huh. I you see a doctor. Do you see a doctor and no don't drink mm. cold cold drinks? Uh-huh, yes. That is very important, right? Because if you're drinking cold drinks and you have a toothache, oh my God, it's too bad. Yes, that's right. Thank you. What about you, Pamela? In what cases you say, no, don't drink coffee? Pamela? Eva Alicia? No presents? Yes. Yes. Okay. Tell us, in what cases you say that it's not a good idea to drink coffee? So you say, don't drink coffee. Um, I have a, a gastritic, gastritis. Gastritis. Uh -huh. Gastritis. Uh -huh. Yes, it's true. In that case, it's when you have gastritis, it's not a good idea. So the doctor... Very probably, it's going to recommend you don't drink coffee. It's too bad for the gastritis. What about in the case? Thank you. Brian. Brian, are you there? No? Rosa Irma? I have a toothache. When you have a toothache? Yes. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Uh -huh. Yes, that is also too bad for the teeth. But do you like candies? Yes. Uh -huh. Do you have a specific kind of candy that you like? Um, gomitas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, gummy bears. They are very good. Delicious. <laughs> they are very delicious, right? Actually, yes. yes. Very, very sweet. That's nice. Okay, what about you, Estela? Are you there, Estela? Estela? Yes. Okay, tell us, in what cases do you say, no, don't eat any candy? Uh -huh. Correct. You say that it's not a good idea to eat any candies. In what cases? The lollipops. Uh -huh, lollipops are they are delicious, but they are not good, right? For the teeth, not, not very good. So if we go to the dentist, probably he's going to prohibit that kind of candy. Okay, now let's check. What about you, Doris? Can you tell us? When is that you say, don't drink coffee? When is not a good idea? Uh, when you when you have a uh, rest, you don't drink coffee. Ah, it's true. If you have the plan that you want to rest, then you say, no, don't drink coffee because it's going to cause insomnia to you. Very good. All right, guys. We have here some advices to give instructions. What is good idea? What is not a good idea? Do you have any question with this?
No question, coach. No questions. All right, guys. It was really nice to see you again. Thank you so much. We'll continue tomorrow night. Thank you. Have sweet dreams. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow night. Good night. Thank see you. you tomorrow. Sweet dreams, good guys. Night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you.